So this section's about sub-programs. Um, and you would ask, what is a sub-program? It's, well, it's a program uh, that you go into from your main program. So you effectively, um, from your main program, you're going into another program and then coming back to your main program. So it's like a, like a spin-off from your program. It's like an add-on. Um, and you would think, well, why would you want to do this? Um, well, there are several reasons why you might want to do it. Uh, but the main reason is that you it saves repeating information so if you'd got for example on a cnc lathe if you were constantly sending the tool back to a tool change position and this position was the same all the while rather than have to keep writing that in your main program you'd put it in a sub program and then you each time you um want that position you just call that sub program so you can have anything in a sub program that would be in a main program you can even call one main program from another main program for most control there is no difference between a sub program and a main program it just it just treats them however you want so if you call that program from your main program it will then be a sub program um so um let's have a look at uh, how that would work in practice so this is my example um, without using a sub program so i'm picking up my first tool which is um, this uh, spot drill bringing it down drilling a hole and just going along to several positions let's take that out a single block so it spots all these holes and then in the same positions it drills so now it's got i've got to repeat all these positions and i've got to repeat them correctly otherwise i've got a problem and then i've got my tap coming in this goes up in the air and my tap comes in and does exactly the same thing except this time it's tapping the hole so all the while it's picking up those same positions all the way through that program i've actually repeated those positions just look three times i've got them all there I've got them all there then i've got them all again there so now let's look at my program two and this time what i've done is i've picked up my spot drill and i'm bringing it down but now I'm setting up my cycle and I'm telling it um, to drill to six mil deep and the R figure and everything. But this K0, this K0 says to it, actually don't do that yet, just remember it. So it takes that into its memory. It means uh, don't do it, do it zero times. In other words, don't do it. And it jumps into my sub program um and does all these holes whenever i give it a position so m98 means go into a sub program and the p is the number of the program it's going into so it's going into program 500 m98 p500 and if i then look at program 500 you'll see that that has got all these positions in and that's all there is in it just all these positions and then this m99 at the end and this M99 at the end tells it to go back where it came from. So it goes into the program, does everything, and then goes back where it came from and carries on. You could use any number for these sub-programs. I tend to use 100 series just so as I know what they are, that all 100 series programs generally are sub-programs. So I'll put M98 to call it and P, P with the number of the program I want to go into, in this case, 500. But I could have 600, 501, any number I want, and it will find it out. And uh, it's the same as any other program in the control, but it finds it out. And then when it sees this M99, it says, oh, go back where you came from. So it jumps back to that main program. And if I go to program two now, you'll see that then I've got my drill, and my drill, comes in exactly the same as before but again it states the can cycle that it wants to use which is different now it's 25 mil deep and then jumps into the same sub program now i know now that i don't have to worry about the positions the only thing i've changed is this can cycle and the same with my tapping i'm going to go into the program and 
just I've remembered it's remembered this cycle, this G84, what it's got to do, and it does it all in program 500. So it picks up the tool and it moves to a position, brings down the tool and goes into the sub program. You can see it's picked up all these positions. When it reads that M99, it jumps back out, picks up the next tool, and then this is going to go into the sub program. Exactly the same, picks up all those positions. But that you can see there it's in that program 500 um, and the positions are exactly the same each time so you don't have to worry the only thing you need to worry about is where you pick up that can cycle um, that that cycle is correct and once you've done one hole you'll know that it'll do all the others the same and you don't have to be concerned about the position now it's going to pick up the tap exactly the same move to a position bring down the tool straight into the sub program taps the holes again in exactly the same position so that's how that program works just want to take a bit of a closer look at this where it actually goes into the sub program I'm just going to step through the program let it do the tool change so it comes to that position brings the tool down reads the cycle and you'll see M98P500 so it jumps across and it's in that sub program now and that's how it goes through the sub program each position I just want to go a little bit slower so you can see that see it coming in and out of that sub program stop that single plot just for a second and then it reads the M99 and that jumps it back where it came from. So it's just after the program call on. You can't see it because the controls jumped on a little bit. And then I'll just show you the second one just so you can see exactly where it's going into this sub program. That's all I want to demonstrate. So it reads the cycle. That cycle, that K0 says don't actually do this cycle. But once you're given a position, then do it. So M98 means go into the sub program and the program I want to go into is 500, program 500 and that comes up on the screen and now it's in there and as soon as it sees that M99 it'll go back where it came from. So a sub program is another tool in your programming toolbox. You don't have to use it but it's always there if you need to and it does certainly make the programming uh, the programmer's job a lot easier because if you've got some quite complex positions you know complex numbers like 10.586 and things like that it's quite easy to make typing errors when you type these back in and when you actually run this through uh, the first time with your spot drill you're checking all those positions and you can carefully check them to your drawing and everything you can even dot them and get those dots checked before you carry on the actual measure of the positions um, but the beauty with the sub program is that once you've used that program once you know it's correct and all you need to worry about is what you're going to do before you go into that sub program in other words the cycle that you're going to use it's not only used for can cycles you can use it for things like roughing and finishing a shape um, you can use it for any standard thing that you might want to do like a tool change position anything that's repeated a lot of times and you don't want to keep repeating that code but the only downside is that you've got to manage these programs. So if you've got loads of sub programs, if you've got a hundred sub programs, you've got to remember to, to bring them all into your control each time you use them. And it's quite easy to lose them or not, you know, uh, not know where they are or whatever. Um, but you do get a thing called local subroutines, which is where the sub programs attached to the end of the program. So the program jumps to its end and goes to them and then comes back in the same way. It's just that they're attached to the end of the program. But this is not on every control. It's a, it's a not it's a not a, it's an option on some machines, and some machines just don't do it. So generally, with a sub program, look look upon it as going into an external program and then coming back. But the principle is the same.